and hold on to. If if a loving God didn't didn't bring me down here, then what the hell is this place? And thankfully, things like the Nag Hammadi documents or the pieces of information we have from the Cathars or some ancient traditions or some some native traditions give us clues as to what this place really is and what we can do about it. So, yeah. Agreed. We will need to remind the Archons that we are not a material form, that we come from the Pleroma, and that is our home. And I thought it was a great quote, because obviously the Gnostics were sort of the descendants about uh, not only when you die would you take this flight through the spheres and have to encounter these gatekeepers, but you should be, you can do this while you're in the material form through different ecstatic rituals and meditations, even active imagination and all. They were very positive because they always said, no, you can't. Over or lifetime after lifetime, generation after generation, and it finally begins to come out it finally begins to shine and that power is greater than even even the power that the demiurge holds over this realm that divine spark which does come from this place outside of all of this all of plato's cave all of the matrix and the the challenge becomes as you say that that um, piece of the apocryphon of james as well as you'll find yeah a similar chapter in the book of the dead where this conversation goes back and forth and a key element of that conversation is is telling them, like you say, that you know you are not from this realm, that the, the true you comes from this place outside of this reality. This idea that once you reach this place of oneness, which I guess we would call the void, you feel like you you feel like you're home, you feel like you've reached totality, and it's easy to get trapped in this place because it's st- unfortunately it's still in the matrix. But when you experience it, you you think you're out of the matrix, but you're not. It's an it's another one of these matrix copies that is constantly being made of the true realm. And I, I got caught in this place for a while, and and mostly because it was this is well, this is what all the spiritual books are talking about. This is what all the traditions are talking about. So in a completely different format. And I think the Gnostics certainly in the Cathars because. They were both, they both recognize that reincarnation happens and that reincarnation is not here for our benefit. And I can throw that out to people quite simply with the memory wipe. The, me- the, the memory wipe that everyone gets before they incarnate into a new life automatically indicates it's not a place of learning or growth. You have to take, you have to take your experiences from other lives through or other other you know that's how you learn and if, if if you are constantly wiped and constantly have everything removed from your consciousness before you start well, that's not learning that's torture that's actually what it is you're, you're you're back to having to do everything again to learn the same things you should have learned in a thousand 